Hi friends, my name is John and in this video I'm going to show you some Google Slide magic tricks. Google Slides is a wonderful tool for creating interactive activities for your students, drag and drop things, Venn diagrams, graphic organizers, things like that. These are awesome activities but they can be quite time consuming to create unless you know these magic tricks. Now to demonstrate these magic tricks with you, I'm going to build a research topic idea board in Google Slides. This is just a simple example um, where students are gonna um, make a list of uh, topics they might want to write about. Let's get started and take a look at these magic tricks. I'm gonna start with a blank slide. Now it's very white. Let's go ahead and change that right away. So I'm gonna go to the slide menu move down to change background, choose image, and I'm gonna pick an image. Now, right now, gradients are a hot design trend. Thank you, Instagram. Gradients and texture. So if you search for the word gradient uh, or the word uh, texture, you can find you know, a brick wall, a uh, birch background, uh, parchment, you know, all kinds of fun textures that make good slide backgrounds. Uh, let me go ahead and search for gradient. Uh, there's a purple one in here I saw earlier that I like. Here we go. I like this one here. So let's insert that. And now you can upload your own image if you want, but uh, there's a big library there, and uh, I usually just pick one of those. Let's uh, next add a header. I'm going to add a shape, a uh, square, actually rectangle, um, up at the top. Okay, double click. I'm going to call this uh, Research Topic Idea Board. Uh, we need to make that a lot bigger. There we go. Let's choose a fun font. This one works. There we go. And uh, just for good measure, let's add a little uh, emoji in there. We'll do a little light bulb. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Now, unfortunately, my ugly gray is uh, um, covering over the cool purple background we added earlier. So let's change that. I'm going to select my gray header box, click on fill color. And I'm going to go down to custom. Um, I want the purple to show through, but I do want to darken it so that we can actually uh, see it at least. So I'm going to use a white background, but roughly 50% transparency. Say OK. And there we go. Cool. So now the purple shines through that semi-transparent text box. Um, it makes that text legible. Uh, the transparency uh, capability of the fill tool is really helpful, especially if you want uh, shapes to overlap, like for a Venn diagram, for example. Uh, adjusting the transparency will allow that middle section of the Venn diagram uh, to show through. All right, let's move on. I need to create a grid uh, next. So students are going to be like grabbing little sticky notes and placing them onto this grid. So let's add uh, some lines here. Uh, I'm going to add, um, we'll do like six lines. I'm going to hold down the shift key so we get a nice straight line. Let's make that a little thicker. A three point line and we're going to make it uh, kind of a gray color. There we go, looks good. Now I am going to make uh, several copies of this line. One of my favorite Google Slides magic trick is the duplicate uh, trick. So I highlight whatever I wanna make copies of and I press Control D for duplicate. Now you can press Control C, Control V if you're used to copy and paste. It's the same thing, just one click. So now I have a whole bunch of lines and I need to space them, line them and space them out on this uh, slide. Now this would be very time consuming if we had to do this manually by you know, pressing the arrow. First thing I'm gonna do is click on the arrange menu. Now this is the second magic trick. Trick one was duplicate. Trick two is to align. So I'm gonna go to arrange, align, and I want all of my lines to be equally um, arranged at the top. So that will make them in a straight line, very good. Now this next part is pretty slick as well. I'm gonna space my lines out. We're gonna make some rough uh, squares. So I'm gonna move that first one there and I'm gonna space this last one all the way out to the right side, okay? Just those two. Now again, it would be quite time consuming if I had to do this manually for every single line. I'm gonna highlight all of those lines. This is magic trick number three. So we have duplicate, we have arrange, and now we want to um, arrange these slides along the uh, vertical, or say the horizontal axis. So that's going to evenly space them out across my slide. 
that, if I had to do that manually, A, it would take forever, and B, I never get it right. There's always, you know, differences in the widths between um, the different lines. Now, we need to make some uh, horizontal lines as well. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one of these just so it's the same line thickness and color. And I'm going to slide that uh, so it's a horizontal line. And we're going to put one up here roughly. And then I'm going to duplicate that. So that I have a second one, we'll slide that down. So we have, again, a grid. Perfect. All right, good deal. So we have this grid, uh, but the next thing we want to do is give students a little sticky note so that they can move their sticky note onto the slot. We're going to do that by adding a yellow square, just using the shape tool. Yellow square that, you know, roughly fits inside of these, um, uh, the grid we made and go a little bigger. Let's make it look real official. So we're going to make it yellow, like a sticky note. Maybe put a little gray border around it. Awesome. Looks good. Now, whenever you're making a drag and drop activity, there are many instances where you don't know how many sticky notes, how many push pins, how many music notes, how many greater than or less than symbols a student will need for their project or activity. We are going to create an infinite pile an infinite pile. Now, if you have a smart board, if you have an interactive uh, uh, whiteboard, some of their software does this, and so you'll recognize uh, this strategy. We want students to be able to grab as many sticky notes as they want and place them on the board. So again, we're going to, uh, we're going to move our sticky note over here. We're going to make a whole bunch of copies of it. Okay, so we're just duplicating, duplicating these. So we have a big pile. It doesn't really matter. It can be nice and messy. All right, we got a big pile. Now we're going to highlight all of them. This again is one of those magic tricks. We're going to use the Arrange and Order tool. We go to Arrange, Align along the center. So Arrange, Align, Center. So now they're lined up um, top to bottom. Then I'm going to go Arrange, Align, Middle. And that will line them up the other way. And we now have an infinite pile of sticky notes. So a student can grab this. They can drop it on here, grab another one drop it on, drop another one on. They can do that as many times as they want and it feels like they'll never get to the bottom of it. So the trick, three magic tricks for Google Slides. Number one, duplicate. Make lots of copies of lines, shapes, whatever you need. Number two, we want to align things on the top, the bottom, the side, the middle. And then number three, we can evenly space things by using uh, the arrange tool. Hopefully those three magic tricks will assist you in creating fun activities for your students and saving a little bit of time in the process.